After more than three years of upgrades and maintenance work, the third major run of the Large Hadron Collider began in April of this year. The first step has been to recommission the accelerator and ramp up the energy and intensity of the proton beams. Next month, in July, the main business of gathering data from particle collisions will begin and at a world record energy of 13.6 trillion electron volts. In its first two runs between 2009 and 13 and 2015 and 18, the LHC discovered the final missing piece of the standard model, the Higgs boson, and began to look for signs of new physics. Run 3 will focus on the quest for as yet unknown forces and particles that may bear on such mysteries as those of dark energy and dark matter. The upgraded LHC is equipped with better detectors and can collide more intense, energetic beams of protons, increasing the chance of creating particles in high energy regions where some theories suggest new physics may lie. Imagine trying to make sense of a billion proton collisions per second, each of which can produce a shower of dozens of other particles. To handle the mountain of data, scientists have developed better hardware and software for sifting through the results. So-called trigger systems weed out the most interesting events and throw the bulk of the data away. For example, at CMS, one of the LHC's four main experiments, a trigger built into the hardware makes a rough cut of about 100,000 events per second, before software picks out around 1,000 of these to reconstruct in full for analysis. Scientists at the LHC are also moving away from the approach of testing specific predictions or hunting for particular hypotheses of new physics. They're shifting toward search strategies, some of which involve artificial intelligence that aren't as constrained by expectations. For instance, they're using what are called unsupervised machine learning algorithms which can scan for anomalies in general without bias. A neural network can compare events against a learned simulation of the standard model. If the simulation can't recreate the event, then that counts as an anomaly. The fact is that physicists now need to keep an open mind about where they might find a clue that will lead them to a theory beyond the standard model. Another advantage that scientists have at the start of run three is that some earlier measurements made at the LHC and at Fermilab in Illinois fall outside the expectations of the standard model. Probably the most interesting of these concerns a short-lived particle called the B plus meson. According to the standard model, the B plus meson ought to decay in two ways, producing either electrons or muons with equal probability. But recent observations have shown something different. The decay to electrons happens 15% more often than the decay to muons. That may not sound like much, but if the result holds up under further scrutiny, then we'll be onto something, perhaps a new force of nature. Over the next couple of years, we may see the beginning of a revolution in physics that will reveal aspects of the universe that today we can only speculate about. Get ready for a fascinating journey and watch this space.